Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Goalkeeper Tips. It has been a long time since I've done a video on FIFA Pro Clubs and I thought I'd jump back into it with some goalkeeper tips and showing you guys my build, um, my perks and archetypes and everything like that. Just showing you what I'm starting with so you guys can test it out for yourselves and see what it's like. So, as you can see, I've been playing a little bit. I haven't played an awful lot. I've played 81 games. Some have been outfield, some have been in goal. Um, it's a bit of a mixture really and I've been loving it. I think FIFA 22 actually does have a really fun goalkeeper system and I'm not just saying that because normally I'd play a few games and I'd instantly be able to tell this is rubbish. It's doing the same things as every year. It's flopping me out of the way or something and it's just it does feel different this year. I know you guys probably would agree. Um, so let's just jump into my build and everything related to my guy. So we'll, stump, we'll, we'll jump into this area first. It's obviously all changed since before, but just showing I've played quite a few games. So you probably can't um, equip all the same attributes as me. Um, but as you go through, just basically work through your goalkeeper handling and everything on your goalkeeper tab. And then just work your way through anything else that you want. Some people say that some of the physical stuff makes a difference. It, it does, it doesn't. It's just stuff that you can really work on as you go up a level. But I always like to put some stuff on passing. And a bit on dribbling as well, because if I have the ball back at my feet, I like to be able to get myself out of sticky situations and obviously distribute the ball really well. Um, so that's that page. So for the perks, I've actually decided to go for um, some, some different setup. I don't know what, what way you want to have yours round, but there are obviously lots of different options that you can have with this, um, which is amazing. So there's clutch save, fast rush, which is great for one-on-ones, quick reflex, one-on-one -on -one, um, actual attribute as well, and a set piece expert and a far reach. But currently, I've only got two out of the three, but I've gone with clutch save to go with first and also reflex and reaction boost at some point during the game. And they work well for me at the moment. I'll obviously figure them out and play around with it differently at some point. But for now, that's kind of really what is working for me and what I'm really enjoying having my guy set up as. So let's jump into my actual build and pro. Um, so obviously you have this however you want to have it. Um, Customised to your own person. I'm just going to change that back. And... I've decided to go with 6 foot 6 147 and that's currently the build that I'm really enjoying. I don't know what other goalkeepers are doing on this game. I haven't really been looking around at the other goalkeepers on YouTube. But this is what I've been working with. This is what I've been really enjoying and I feel agile. I feel quick enough to get out. My reactions are good and I'm making all the saves that I want to be making and I'm only conceding goals that are pretty much unsavable like sweats or anything that's in and off the post or off the crossbar or anything like that. So that's what I use. That's what really works for me obviously. Doesn't matter too much, you can now be a female, which is pretty cool. And that's what I've got as my guy. So I'm going to leave that here for today. That's my build. That's my traits, attributes, everything like that. What do you guys want to see in the next episode? I can talk more and go back to basics if you want, or I can jump into some more in-depth stuff, such as dealing with one-on-ones or any of the complicated stuff. Or I can run from the beginning and start with just basics of goalkeeper. So let me know, guys. Thank you for watching and hope you have enjoyed this. And I'll speak to you soon.